and as set forth in the report after that investigation, if we had had confidence that the President clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. We did not, however, make a determination as to whether the President did commit a crime. And there you have it, Special Counsel Robert Mueller today speaking publicly for the first time since releasing his report on the Russia investigation. He said it is clear Russians interfered with the 2016 election and launched cyber attacks on Hillary Clinton's campaign. He also said President Trump cannot be charged with a federal crime while he's in office because that's unconstitutional. But as you just heard, he said the investigation did not conclude President Trump did not commit a crime. Here to discuss this and what could come next, Super Neighborhood Leader Tamara Bell and former Republican congressional candidate Justin Laurie. So is that the sign for the Congress to move forward with possible impeachment proceedings? Tomorrow? Exactly. He literally drew the road map. We have three branches of the government. You have, and the Constitution is above everything. Every branch of the government's duty is to protect the Constitution. Mueller explained to them, look, I can't do nothing, but this is what you all can do. I can assure you those members of Congress who were so excited and through the party when they knew Mueller was coming on board were so excited because they said he would get Trump. And he was like, no, 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 no. I can show you how to get Trump. I can't get Trump because the Justice Department cannot, cannot file charges against the president. But what he did say is I never said he didn't do a damn thing. Now, y'all, now, 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 bar lied. <laughs> I never said that. And I'm quitting anyway, so I don't care what, but he ain't my boss no more after this is over with. So let me tell y'all, he lied. I never said he did not commit a crime. Justin, let's I didn't bring say you that. in really the, the quick. The falsehoods <clears throat> between what we just said just now and what's been going on is, is kind of overwhelming. All right, let's go back to a couple different things you said. First, Mueller said to his boss, to William Barr, the AG, and to multiple people in the room that the OLC, the Office of Legal Counsel, that opinion, he would abandon it if there was a crime. And then Barr made re Mueller repeat it three times in front of multiple people. And what that means is, is that that judgment saying that he cannot indict a sitting president, that, that he would ignore that, again, abandon it, if there was actually a crime. Now, Mueller put on full display the partisanship that he has right now. <coughs> I mean, he also said, by the way, it is not a prosecutor's job to exonerate someone. Their job is to indict and prosecute or say nothing at all. There's this new standard out there. It's no longer proven, it's no longer innocent until proven guilty. It is now, you have to be, you have to now prove your innocence. It's a double negative, all right? Put yourself in the shoes, all right? You are driving home from work one day, a police officer what drives you over. What channel were you watching? Hold on, no, 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 no. What channel Hold were you watching? No, 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 he did not say that. No, 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 are you out of your mind? What channel were you watching? He said he could not accuse him of a crime because as in his position under the judicial department, he couldn't prosecute him. He never said there was not evidence to show that he did something wrong. He said he could not do anything about it. What channel are you Republicans watching? I don't get it. I mean, this right, could be you no know clearer. All right, no, you don't no, understand. Just, you do not understand. You don't you're understand. Missing. All right, all right, you're missing the OLC opinion, what he's referring to. I really want you to think about this. You're driving home from work one day. A police officer pulls you over. He says you're speeding. Of course you are not. You want to go to court, you fight it. The officer says in court, he says, because it's really the same thing here. Oh, well, it is possible that you were speeding. And he says, prove that you weren't. No, you were innocent to your proven guilty. That's one. Also, it is possible I can become the quarterback of the Texans next year, but I sure as heck cannot prove it. You cannot prove the negative. What the hell are you talking and about? So <laughs> Look, <laughs> this is, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm serious. I don't know where y'all brains are. He is saying that there was definitely something there that was criminal. I can't do a damn thing about Where's it. Where's the evidence? In my position. Obviously, he Where's got the evidence? It. I promise you this. When Congress called him back to the House and say you need to testify, 400 pages. Tell. 400 right. pages, $30 million, two years, no evidence. Always a good I, I don't conversation. I do sleep in jail. I just in jail right. for the we'll hell of it. On.